Mike Adenuga is the third richest man in Africa. He is a business magnate, investor, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. As of July 2020, his real-time net worth was $5.8 billion, according to Forbes. Mike's mother was a businesswoman, and that rubbed off on him at a very early age. This is evident in the fact that he made his first million at the age of 26. Mike was born on 29th April 1953 in Oyo State, Nigeria. He attended Ibado Grammar School for his secondary school education and proceeded to Comprehensive High School in Ayatoro Town for his higher school certificate. After completing primary and secondary school, Mike Adenuga moved to North America to pursue an undergraduate degree in business administration from Northwestern Oklahoma State University. He then went on to get an MBA from Pace University in New York. Mike always had an interesting perspective on entrepreneurship. For him, once a business was legal, could generate revenue, and he understood it, he was ready to take it on. This is very ideal for budding entrepreneurs that are still figuring out their niche because it encourages open-mindedness and a sense of exploration. One of the most prominent traits of entrepreneurship is the trial and error culture. It is very rare to come across an entrepreneur that succeeded in his or her first business venture. Whether you believe in luck or not, the uniqueness of the circumstances that led to Mike Adenuga getting involved in the oil and gas industry is undeniable. A policy passed by Professor Jubril Aminu, the Nigerian oil minister between 1989 and 1992, allowed individuals to engage in the business of oil exploitation and exploration. Mike became one of the policy's beneficiaries and was granted a drilling license in 1990. His lucky streak continued as his oil company, Consolidated Oil, today known as Corn Oil, started drilling the year after and found some oil in the shallow waters of Ondo State. Consolidated Oil became the first indigenous oil company to do so in the commercial quantities that it did. The ability to spot opportunities where others don't is a highly valuable skill to have and Mike proved this when he acquired a conditional GSM license in 1999. Even though it was revoked, he still went on to receive a second license in 2003 when the federal government of Nigeria held another auction. He saw an opportunity in telecommunications at a time when it wasn't deemed a worthy investment. Today, it's one of the fastest growing industries on the continent. With his license, Adenuga started Globacom commonly known as GLOW, which grew rapidly to become a very large telecom operator in Nigeria and Africa with over 36 million subscribers. This positioned the company in a way that it started challenging giant telecommunication networks like MTN. In 2008, he extended Globacom services to Benin and has further expanded to Ghana and Ivory Coast. Even with his immense success, Mike is still in search of markets to expand into within the western region of the continent. In 2007, Mike Adenuga was named the African Entrepreneur of the Year at the First African Telecoms Awards. In 2009, he was detained by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over charges of money laundering. He decided to leave the country and reside in London until he was granted an official pardon by President Umar Musa's administration. In May 2015, Mike made a takeover bid for Ivorian mobile telecoms operator Comium Cote d'Ivoire and acquired it for $600 million. In 2016, it was revealed that he was being pursued for a combined debt of $140.5 million after his company Consolidated Oil failed to pay the debts it owed Total, a French oil company. Bellbop, another one of his companies, had an interim injunction placed on it by the High Court in Lagos after it failed to pay the sum of $9.4 million owed to U.S. oil and gas firm Baker Hughes. Mike owns stakes in different multinational companies in Nigeria, like Equatorial Trust Bank and Stanbic IBTC Bank. In 2012, he was awarded the prestigious honor as Grand Commander of the Order of Niger 
by the Federal Government of Nigeria. This award is given to acknowledge one's services to the nation. He also holds a traditional Yoruba chieftaincy title as Otumba One of the Ijebu clan. Thanks for watching.